Hi, and let's have a look at your assignment for family sociology. Now in this assignment, we're going to be doing something kind of unique. It's looking at low income and I've created a few documents for you. When they look at um, family income, they divide things up in research for the purposes of looking at things into quintals and these are categories of dividing 100% of the population into 5, 20% quintals. And so I'm going to make it so that you are in the lowest one. Now I'll show you for example, this is all five from 2016 looking at the five quintals. Now you're going to be using quintal one but I've shown you the other five to give you some idea how the rest of the population is. <laughs> and as I'm sure you can see, uh, this is putting you at a disadvantage. Now the working sheet that you will have that will help you with this is breaking things down from an annual into monthly. And so that's the sheet there. Okay. Now, I'm also going to be including some other items. I'm going to be including the Canada Food Guide. You must make your um, weekly menus based on the Canada Food Guide as best as you can. Now each member of the group, there are going to be four of you in the group, each will do one week. Now one of the first things that you need to hand in will be your group contract. And basically it's going to be handed in by the uh, 1st of February at 5 p.m. into your file exchange and that'll make more sense when you have a chance to go into your group area and see that there's a file exchange so I can go in and pick it up there but you need to have each member indicate how is it best to be in touch with one another and I because I'm not a part of your group it's how you will need to communicate with each other effectively I would like you to put in some reference to when and um, where you will be meeting to get this started I don't like to see things left to the last minute because then things get done poorly and there are usually problems with groups when things get left to the last minute. So when's your first meeting date and time? When's your second meeting date and time? And when are subsequent meetings? Now the contract that I put together here for you will help you with some of that. So the date and time group members plan on signing the co this contract and posting it as a PDF or as a picture. Now you could just print this off, fill it all out and then scan it and put it as a PDF into your file exchange. Or if you would prefer, you could take pictures of each page and then post those in uh, your file exchange, as long as the pictures are clear enough that I can see it. Then you need to also indicate the date and time that your menus will be completed. Now there is a contingency if somebody chooses not to participate or fails to do anything, there are contingencies. And then there's a date and time that the members or the members or whoever has agreed that they will do uh, the responding to the crisis. And the crisis will be posted for you um, in week seven. I have a date for that. And then you also need to put when you're going to put your completed PDF in the file exchange. Now, signing this means that you've agreed to do all the things that your group has agreed to. Failing to sign the agreement just means that uh, if you don't do anything, then you get nothing. Um, you need to be in touch with those members to ensure that you get your name on the contract and so that you are eligible to complete the assignment. Failing to complete the menu plan. If you, do, if you don't do it, the rest of the members are not obligated to make up the extra menu. If three people are left out of a group of four, then only three menus get submitted. Each member commits to one menu then all three menus, oh sorry, all four menus of a group will get combined into a single document along with your crisis response and the overall reflection. That all gets handed in as a completed assignment um, March 29th at 5 p.m. in your final exchange. At the bottom here, you sign your name indicating that you've agreed to the, um, to the contract. That gets posted on February 1st. Now, as far as the rest of the documents, you see that on March 8th at 9 a.m., I will post in your file exchange a crisis that your family is going to go through. And your job is not to change your menus, but is to look at your budget in relationship to the crisis and reflect. Now, you'll find this uh, more detail later on here. 
but reflect on how was this going to affect all your planning that you've done for your family, given what your your case study scenario is like. And I've posted that. In fact, I'll show it to you right now. You're going to be getting this document as well, and it walks you through um, your scenario. There it is here, Bill and Ann, and they have two kids. And it walks you through what's happened to them, what is their circumstances, and some considerations that you need to keep in mind when you're doing this that you can't deviate from this. There's the cost of their apartment. They don't have an additional freezer except for the refrigerator, so you can't buy bulk to the point of storing stuff. So, this is your assignment. Okay, now I've indicated here when things are due. All things that get posted need to be in a PDF format unless you're doing it as your document, as your contract, sorry, and you can put those in as pictures. Now, what's also important about this is because these, this family that you are representing in Quinto One uh, doesn't have a reliable means of transportation, then you can't go around to five or six different grocery stores. The minimum that you can, or the maximum you can do is two. And you still need to maintain your budget as best you can and be able to stick with the Canada's Food Guide. Now those will be documents that I'll post. This is the rubrics of how your marks will be distributed. So do the best you can. Ideally, go to the grocery store when you're shopping and take pictures of food. Now make sure that when you take pictures of food, you get the food plus the price. If you're using coupons or sort of using the um, flyers that come in, then take pictures of the food and the price and then put that into your document and then offer me some explanations of how you're using the food to distribute throughout the week. Now I will post an exemplar um, in each of your file exchanges so you can see how some other groups who have done very well have done it. This does not mean you do exactly the same as they do, it just means it gives you some idea of what you need to achieve to get the best marks you can. Now I've had a lot of great feedback that this has been a fun and useful uh, exercise. Now certainly some of you will have more experience with lower income than others. Feel free to share your thoughts and ideas and tips. Now it's quite possible that Bill and Ann may have to take advantage of some community resources. So if you're familiar with community resources, feel free to access them. Okay. I hope this is helpful for you. I look forward to seeing the results. Please remember to do the contract and honor the contract. Failing to honor the contract means you're failing to contribute to the group, which means you're failing to get a mark for this assignment. All right. Good luck, everybody, and stick with the, uh, the, uh, co um, the scenario. Please read it carefully and be familiar, and then be prepared for your crisis in week seven. All right, everybody. Good luck and have fun.